comes out, he, he, you know, jumps in the driving seat and we fly down the M1 and he's going, you know, I'm telling these people this thing only because, you know, I've been told to say it. It's government policy. It's, it's the line. Yes, they have a line. Junior, Edwina, why? can I get a word in edgeways here, if you I don't mind? I wanted to ask you, why didn't he just say, I don't like this anymore, I don't want to do it anymore, I quit? I wish the hell he had, Edwina. I really do. But that's possible. You know, he may still be alive today. You know, maybe this is what we're talking about. You know, well, in fact, you know, it's a, that's a very complicated question, you know, and, and to do with his psychology and all the rest of it, and being proud. You know, the man was a proud Leo. Mm. And... Uh, <coughs> I don't know why, why David's, you know, coughing like that, but, you know, <laughs> sorry, um, yeah, anybody who's, you know, well... But what you're saying, really, is he wasn't individualist and arrogant mm. enough to turn around and say, no, I'm doing it my way. Well, he did, in a sense. I mean, he, he, he wouldn't, um, you know, he didn't want to get involved. I mean, he, he wasn't given a... I, he, he, I think there was a change of government. I don't think people realise he was actually offered a job by Harold Wilson in that next government, but it wasn't good enough, and he turned it down and so on. And, um, you know, then he said, I'm going my... What he wanted was to get enough money so he could speak his mind, you know, and oh, to... You don't need money to speak your mind. You just stand up and say... OK, yeah. you go, you know, you, you, um... Write a book? Um, but you also you say, don't you, Julie, that he was hounded by MI5? Well, I don't say he was well, hounded. I mean, you know, the, the thing is that... They here's thought the, he was a Russian the plot star. Coming out. No, yeah. no, that, I mean, <laughs> MI5 thought... You're obsessed MI5 by plot. No, no, but MI5 thought speak. he was a Czechoslovak agent. That was it. That, and <laughs> that, that is a problem, you know? It's amazing, isn't it? Well, no, no, literally. MI5 went and saw Wilson and said, we think John Stonehouse is an agent working for the...